We're coming up with a mini voucher program of our own to support Hobart eateries. So it's reasonably simple process at its core. It involves using an, an app. Uh, a user would download the app and for downloading the app, they would receive a $10 voucher. Uh, and then they would use the app at participating restaurants and eateries within the Hobart uh, boundary area. And those businesses would be pre-registered, so it will be quite clear who was participating and who was not. Um, and after uh, making a purchase at five of those restaurants, and I think each time it's a minimum purchase of $20, uh, you would then receive a $20 voucher again, and you could redeem it. Uh, at any of those participating businesses. So that's, that's it at its core. You'll note that the recommendation specifically talks about just making sure the general manager is satisfied with regards to um, any particular issues around the app, but I still think we're just refining um, how we might use the app and indeed whether it's the correct one. So I just was keen to allow in there the the delegation to the general manager to make the final decision about the IT side of it. I felt we needed to get a clear direction from committee and council as to whether you're up for this type of program. Um, you can see there the program has a budget of about $90,000. That is existing money, it is not new money. Uh, we would take a proportion of that from the current Hello Hobart budget and we would take a proportion of that from the unspent Taste of Tasmania budget. So. We're not seeking new funds to run this. Um, you might have noticed from the report, we're, ex we're allowing for 3,500 people to download the app in the first place where they would receive that $10 voucher. Uh, and then look, we're, we're kind of guesstimating that there may be half of those people would go on to uh, uh, spend at five participating businesses uh, and thereby there would be probably maybe up to 1,750 of those $20 vouchers we would need to issue. Um, the team have road tested this idea with some restaurants and cafes just to get an idea of whether they would be willing to participate. Um, and Ms Gillen might care to speak for herself, but my understanding is that we got a, we got a good response to that. Uh, which was to the effect of, well, yeah, let's any, anything will help, please. Can we let's give that a go? Is my understanding. So, Sam or Luke, I don't know whether you'd like to add anything to that in terms of what I've missed from an introduction. Yes, no, no, you, you pretty much got through, you chair, pretty much covered it off there, um, Tim. Um, Sam has done research, as you say, with uh, a test group of uh, local hospitality. Um, operators and it has been well received by um, all of them as a matter of fact um, so in terms of the application we have uh, just recently met uh, with uh, Robert Stevenson um, regarding uh, the, the the appropriateness of the application and uh, the early information is that he is comfortable with it but obviously we've got the recommendation in there that the general manager has to be comfortable also so we'll continue to work on that and provide updates as we go uh, thank you. I'll open the item uh, for discussion. Yeah, I just have a number of questions. Thank Chair. you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Chair. Um, firstly, with the uh, sample of this particular group that you uh, did a road test with, uh, and where, which particular location, and then I will have a few other questions after this. Okay, can we have that uh, response, yeah. please? Yeah, Luke and Sam, if you can answer that, please. Yeah, um, through you, Chair. Um, so we went out um, to a handful of businesses. The sample size was about 10 that I had an in-depth conversation with those retailers. Um, I, um, they're a mixture of retailers from sort of just general bars through to cafes. I, I'm not really at liberty to say just um, uncomfortable, I guess, um, releasing the names of those particular venues at this point in time, um, just because I think those conversations that we had were very much, um, I, I guess, off the record in in respect to um, the commitment from those venues um, if, if we were to go forward, if that makes sense. 
But Sam, just geographically, where were we, please? Oh, sorry, in, in the Hobart area. So, you know, from Midtown through to Salamanca. Um, yeah. Uh, your next question. Okay, so thank you, thank you, Chair. The the next question is this particular app um, from a number of because I'm in that particular industry and I'm bringing that lived experience. A number of people missed out on the government voucher uh, because they are not savvy with technology. Would this then uh, in any way disadvantage the older cohort of our ratepayers? Uh, Chair, through you, um, I suppose the honest answer is potentially it could if they don't have a device that is capable of having the app onto it. Um, of course, one of the reasons that we look at a system like this is to keep the administration costs and effort um, really very low. And you'll see there from the budget, you know, there's really not much for administration. It's nearly all on providing the vouchers. So... Um, if community and council were of the view that there needed to be a system uh, whereby people who were not able to have a device with an app on it, uh, I think we would really need to reconsider what we're doing uh, in some detail. Any further questions, Councillor Dodder? Just uh, one uh, final question. And, and the question is uh, with regards to uh, the, uh, the opportunity is given to everyone outside of being Hobart ratepayers, or can this be confined to the benefit of those who pay rates at the Hobarts, you know, in the in, in a political electorate? Uh, Chair, through you, I. I'm not sure that we could limit the, the users to Hobart City ratepayers or residents. I think, look, I'll take some advice on that in a minute. I don't think we could do that. And I, I think from a program point of view, where we've come from is this is about supporting Hobart businesses, um, not, not necessarily residential ratepayers. Uh, so that's really the primary, purposes, the pro, the primary purpose of the program is around business support. Um, and from that point of view, we're saying, well, we don't, I don't think it matters where the customer comes from, that's all. Um, but again, Sam or Luke, do you have any further to add on that? Uh, through you, Chair, no, that, that's exactly right, um, Tim. Um, it is based on a support of uh, the local business network throughout the greater Hobart area. Um, and we, we would be cautious to limit that um, to ratepayers. We, we, you know, through fear of not having the uh, the base of client uh, to be able to support the businesses through the uh, the nominated time of the campaign. Thank you, uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Councillor. Are there any other questions from the committee? Is anyone prepared to put the recommendation forward? Alderman Zuka, have you got any comments? Given that yes, uh, I do. Just a second, I just want to get my. Uh... Look, um, look, I agree. It, it shouldn't be based just on the on, on the residents of Hobart. It's, if you're going to promote your city, you promote your city to uh, get as many people in, in, in to shop or, or spend money in our city. It's very, very important. I do have um, some concerns and reservations, and I'll, I'll explain why I'm not being detrimental to any, any, any members of staff that have gone out and done some consultancy work with, um, you know, 10 people. But that doesn't sort of uh, give us a good understanding of of um, whether or not it's going to be embraced by 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 the masses. And I and I say this, I look at the community and stakeholder engagement. Um, if you're going to go to uh, you know speak to you know half a dozen restaurants, you should be going to the THA. They're the body that represents restaurants. If you're going to get to talk to uh, retailers, you should be talking to the Retail Traders Association. And so forth. Uh, to my point of view, before I can support this, I'd like to make sure that um, our, the industry bodies that represent these organisations are part of a, a consult consultation process. Because at the end of the day, the last thing we want to be doing is putting something out out to um, to uh, to the public on on what we want to do to help stimulate the the business economy of Hobart. With, uh, and and if it crosses uh, paths with other other businesses, I think uh, the industry bodies are the ones that we need to be consulting with. So uh, I, I, I 
would say at this point in time, I, I'd like to sort of uh, have this matter deferred until the council meeting and have a special council meeting prior to council, which gives you about, uh, um, you know, 10 days to get, to speak to the industry bodies, because I think it's absolutely imperative that the industry bodies uh, um, um, embrace this. Um, you know, the last thing I want to I want to hear is um, from the THA, oh, well, we weren't consulted, or the retail trailers, we weren't consulted. Uh, I, uh, so, I, I, I'm sorry, Chair, but I, I, I think we just need to do a little bit more work here to make sure that um, we bring everybody on board. The, the other thing is to, um, I, I also um, would agree with uh, the, the point made about those people that are not on, um, on app savvy. Um, I, I, I'm organising uh, with the Australian Italian Club, uh, another organisation, with the Pensioners Association, and we find we, we, we struggle because, you know, we've got we've got ninety percent of our members on email, but when we come to the elderly, uh, we've got ninety uh, percent on uh, of them without emails. So you know, it, if we're going to be targeting uh, people to come and shop and spend money in our city, we've got to sort of uh, look at how we can try and do something, whether it's a different. A uh, completely different program, or whether it's something else, I, I think we need to sort of see if we can sort of uh, do something. So uh, we, um, we, we, our target audience is vastly expanded. Remember, we've got an aging population here in Hobart, so we need to try and um, we're going to stimulate our city. Let's stimulate our city right across the board. Uh, I, I'm not trying to deflate anybody, but um, I look at things in the big picture, and I, I just think we're just focused on on one component. Uh, and that one component is not necessarily um, uh, the, the, the only component we should be targeting for our city. So, um, you know, in saying that, I, I, I would hope that our officers take that on board in that if we do defer this uh, for that consultation with uh, the organisations and see if they can come back uh, with some other ideas or, or, or add ideas to this particular uh, proposal. I'll look at, I, I do, and I've always fully supported uh, and embraced uh, the marketing of our city. Uh, we need to market our city and we need to do everything in our power to, um, to um, get people to shop back in our city. Um, you know, I've, I've always supported the old uh, City Heart Association and, and to tell you the honest truth, I, I would love, love to go down that track, but I don't want to sort of throw it in, in, into the mix now. But I, I believe we, we, we need to seriously be doing things far more, more than this. And this is a great start to uh, help stimulate our, our, our CBD and our businesses in Hobart. Because I'll just say to this, this, very, uh, uh, this point in, in, in so far as I do live on the Eastern Shore and I do drive past and sometimes drop into Eastlands. And I've got to say here, Eastlands on fire. The city of Hobart is not on fire. Our CBD is struggling. And we need to be um, uh, doing far more than what we're doing, not only for our CBD, but also our, our suburban uh, shopping centres like Sandy Bay and North Hobart. We are, we are hamstringing our, our business people. Uh, even up in South Hobart, we need to be doing, doing a lot more to help those businesses. We're talking about a lot of small businesses and all we seem to do is, is put obstacles in their way, in particular when we talk about car parking and, and things like that, but that's another, another matter. But look, I just think we, we firstly, number one, embrace the, the organisation, the relevant organisations over the next week. And number two, see if we can come up, up with uh, something that might be able to, uh, to appease the, the, the uh, older generation who doesn't have an app. Uh, look, that does sound um, reasonable, but just before, I, I'm assuming you would like to put a procedural motion, Alderman Zuko? Oh, look, I don't want to put it as a procedure yet. I, I just wanted to flag that, and I think, I, I, I believe that that's what we should be doing. The beauty about committees, we can put it any time we want. So uh, I, I, I want to flag that because I think that's the way to go if we really want to get this really happening on board. Thanks. Thank you. Um, look, I have present now, we have uh, Councillor Harvey and also Councillor Coates, uh, plus, of course, uh, Councillor Ewan, um, uh, who's a part of the committee. Is, have you any comments, Councillor Coates or Councillor Harvey? Uh, no, none from me. Thank you, Chair. Uh, Councillor Harvey? I think you're there. I can see you there. 
Uh, he's not there. Uh, I think uh, Councillor Dutta is uh, is uh, wanting to speak again. All right. Thank you, Councillor Dutta. Oh, thank you. Just uh, a follow up qu follow up question from uh, from, from the uh, the statements made. And my question is uh, through you to the uh, acting um, general manager. Uh, do we have to do we have to uh, contact relevant industry bodies for this particular matter? Uh, Chairman, through you, no, we don't, but I do actually think it's a good suggestion and I'm very comfortable to do that prior to a special prior to council. I actually think it is a good suggestion for us to do that. Um, we can certainly check in with the THK and others. There's no problem with doing that at all. And just another follow-up question. What about the uh, technology savvy? Can that be looked into that as well? Through you, Chair. Thank you for the question, Councillor Dara, because I did want to raise, just touch back on that. Um, so again, of course, the answer is yes, we will look at that. But I just wanted to point out that our intent with this was a, a short, sharp campaign. It's a, a COVID response. Um, so we will do our very best to look at doing something for people who won't have access to a device. My only concern that I'd like to raise is that that may affect the timing of this. And our intent here was to try and do something over December and January. Um, but so maybe if I could just flag that for the moment, I've heard what Alderman Zuko and Councillor Dutcher have said, and perhaps as part of our reporting back uh, at a special private council, I can just provide that update on, for want of a better term, how much more we would need to do to have a non-tech solution as part of this, because it just may impact um, our ability to deliver the program over that specific time, which was one of the core intents of the program. Thank you. Um, look, uh, look um, I, I just want to clarify quickly at some points. Number one, no, we don't have to uh, contact any organisation, nor do we have to contact any business in Hobart. But if you're going to do some consultation, you, it, it is only appropriate that you consult with the industry bodies. Because if you don't consult with the industry bodies, you don't bring on board everybody else. As with the, uh, the, the, the tech savvy, I wasn't necessarily saying that we, we don't proceed down this track, but having a look at what you can possibly do in implementing this and seeing we can, if, if you can bring the others as part of it in some, in some way, if you can. Uh, that's what I was saying. So, you know, it could be could be something we can do in our in our CBD in our and it could be one or two days that that people can actually physically come into the CBD and do something there that uh, gives them vouchers or something like that for those those people. So there are other many other ideas you can actually put in put in place that doesn't need technology. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. I, I think uh, it's appropriate to share. I invite that. Uh, motion for deferral to a special before the next council meeting. Uh, are you happy to put that forward? Alderman Look, I'll put that forward. I, I, I don't think I need to put the detail. I think if um, uh, the um, acting general manager needs to get information on what I've been saying or what we've been saying, I think you just go back to the tape and he'll get as much as he wants. So I think I'll put forward the, the, uh, the reasons for, um, for um, a special just before council. So I have that uh, that motion by Alderman Zuko. I put that to the vote. Um, I'm not w operating from the council, so it is. Please uh, let me know if you're against that. So for the voting members on the uh, uh, this committee, uh, is everyone in favour? Just yell. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. So uh, we have uh, um, we have a unanimous decision on that item. So thank you, and just want to thank the officers. There's a a lot of work being done, and please don't see our uh, request to defer this uh, decision to ref uh, defer it in any way um, under underscoring what you've done. It'll just make it a better motion when it does go to council. So thank you. Um, um, uh, uh, sorry, Chair, but um, I, I, I'd like to move that uh, we co-opt um, Councillor Ewan. A member of the of the committee. Uh, oh, is she? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I apologise. I, I didn't realise. I I, I apologise, uh, Councillor Ewan. I Hopefully thought you weren't, but, but um, that's all right. Uh, it's okay. We're gonna apologise. We're gonna actually co-opt uh, Councillor Coates. 
Sorry? I'll put, I'll put that to the wrong one. Yeah. We adopt uh, Councillor Coates. All those in favour? Just anyone against? That's fine. So welcome, Councillor Coates. Uh, we're now at the uh, we're now at the status reports. Move to receive the notice. I have a move for a uh, move by Alderman Mazuka received and noting. All those in favour? In favour. Yeah, if you're not, thank you. Uh, then questions without notice on the open. Any questions without notice? I'll then um, move. I'll get someone to to. I'll move to close, please. Thank you. I'll put that to the vote. No one against. I'm that can hear. Uh, I've just moved us into that. Sorry. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm sorry, I went off for a minute there. 